All right, Memorial Day weekend. Many of you non-essential employees are on the uh, on the road right now, traveling uh, to parts uh, parts here in the Midwest. I've gotten a number of calls from people off the air saying they're traveling through Tennessee, where the gas prices are out of control. I've had uh, had a call from the Carolinas saying the gas prices there are pretty reasonable. Uh, it's over three bucks a gallon, but pretty reasonable. I had an emailer here from Washington State saying it's about four fifty a gallon in uh, in Washington State as we speak. But here we are traveling on this uh, this long summer weekend, and uh, and it's a weekend that we honor the people that uh, that gave their lives. In the name of this country, to protect the freedoms that we enjoy. Like the freedoms to travel. We put up with this each and every year, and each and every year it gets worse. I'm going to call it what it is in the state of Ohio. Because if you're traveling on I-71, 75, any of the interstates, and you're driving through the Buckeye State, the chances of you not getting pulled over, to me, are almost slim and none. Sure, we have the click it or ticket campaign going on, but did you realize that in the state of Ohio, there are over 900 police departments taking part in this click it or ticket police state 900 there's 88 counties in Ohio there's the state highway patrol then we have the the county sheriffs the townships the cities I never would have guessed there are 900 police departments in the state of Ohio, but there are, and they're all taking the federal dollars to pay their officers extra money and overtime to pull you over and to run checkpoints and create a police state all uh, trying to make us feel like, you know, we're, we're, we're safer that they're stopping us and telling us to, to, to buckle up and and giving us the ticket that cost $100. No, that part is revenue enhancement, trust me. That's big-time revenue enhancement. We continue to put up with this. We have now accepted and we have laid down for checkpoints. We have now, where they, they, you know, when the, where they're looking for drunk drivers, and there are checkpoints after checkpoints now that have been scheduled and are scheduled that pick up no, as in zero, drunk drivers. The message has been heard. In the state of Ohio, about 85% of you now wear seatbelts. The message has been heard. I always find the irony in this that here we are, we live, uh, my, I live in Ohio, yeah, I have a an Ohio driver's license. And the irony is the whole click it or ticket campaigns happen in a state that doesn't require a person to wear a helmet when riding a motorcycle. Where's the uh, where's the thought process in that? So here on Memorial Day weekend where we honor those who uh, have given their lives for uh, for our freedoms, what we do is on this weekend, because of federal dollars and uh, you know goofy phrases like kick it, uh, click it or ticket. Uh, there's another one I saw this morning. What was it? Drive sober or get pulled over. Isn't that clever? In Anderson, if you drive down Beachmont there uh, near uh, the Applebee's, they have on the sign. Uh, what is it? Uh, it is go right. When you see the light, another clever phrase. We have created a police state. There's no other way to put it. Where you have over 900 police departments taking part in pulling you over and ticketing you for not wearing a seatbelt in a state where that is not a primary offense. 
It is a primary offense in Kentucky. It is a primary offense in Indiana. In Ohio, no. 513-749-7000, 1-800-THE-BIG-1, pound 700 on AT&T. I'm Daryl Parkson for Scott Sloan on 700 WL. 700 WLW Reds winners and sweeping the Graves last night at Great American Ballpark 6-3. Rockies come to town 606 tonight with the inside pitch. 7-10 tonight. It's Johnny Cueto throwing the first pitch for the Reds. Great American Ballpark. It is going to be a wonderful warm weekend at Great American Ballpark. And let's hope for two sweeps with the Reds and the Rockies. And you can hear all the games here on the home of the Reds, 700 WLW. Give it to me straight, Rich. How are you? Hey, good to talk to you again. I, will you tell me again how many police departments there are in this state? Over 900 are taking part in the Click It or Ticket campaign. I did not know that. Yep. I didn't know it was 900. That is a no, tremendous I, number. Yeah, if, if somebody would have asked me, Rich, how many uh, how many police departments are there in in the state of Ohio? I was in there, eighty eight counties. You, know, you got co- you know you have okay, that's eighty eight, and then you got cities, and you know I mean, I'd say I'd say maybe two hundred fifty. Right, know, not nine hundred. Not nine hundred. That is outrageous. Do you remember when we lobbied? But we were about the only ones that did for issue two, and we had all the the fear campaigns of what was going to happen. Uh, we'd lose all these police officers if we didn't pass it. Where was this number then? Well, look, all you need to do is drive around, uh, you know, drive up and down an interstate here in our area, you know, on I-71 or 75, and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see maybe some a couple of state highway patrol cars, and then you'll see the Norwood police, and then you'll see the Sycamore yep. Township police. And the only reason those police, police departments exist in those townships is, uh, it, you know, it's for revenue enhancement. Revenue enhancement. Yeah, that's, that's the it. only reason they're there. And as far as I'm concerned, if they're there and they have time to sit and, and fish for us as we drive by for revenue enhancement, they're non-essential employees. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But, yeah, you know, these, this, these weekends, these, uh, these heavy travel weekends, like uh, like Memorial Day, where people are on the road today, they're going to be on the road uh, on on Monday, and 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 think about how many millions of people come through Cincinnati on I seventy one and seventy five, yep. and and their perception of our community has to be just one big speed trap. Yeah, which you, it you is. Have, you, you you on the left side, you'll see some patrol cars, and the right side, you see patrol cars, and you be hitting the brakes, and people will be stopping to, so they avoid the traffic. It'll cause all, mm-hmm. cause all kinds of nightmares. No, it's unreal. I mean, you know, the the history of this click it or ticket pan- campaign. It started in North Carolina in '93. In uh, 2000, South Carolina joined in. Eight more sto- states joined in in 2001. Uh, Ohio joined in along with uh, Indiana and West Virginia in 2002. 2003, 43 states took part, mm. including District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And <laughs> in, in 2004, I mean, just follow the money on this one. In 2004, all states and territories took part. So I guess Guam takes part in this as well. Uh, they, they probably do. You remember when they first passed all those seatbelt legislation, uh, all that stuff, when it first came out? They said it was going to be uh, non-enforced. It was for our safety. Sure. And now it's turned into just a giant revenue enhancement mechanism. Hey, when it's a when it's a hundred dollars a ticket, you're yeah. darn you're darn right. It's revenue enhancement. That's all it is. All it is. Yep. All right. Well, Rich, have a wonderful weekend. You too. Enjoy the hot weather. Uh, to Craig in uh, in Merrimont. Craig, seven hundred WLW. Hi, Daryl. I just wanted to uh, talk about the click or ticket. I mean, is there anything that we don't need to hear more than click it or tick it? You can't get in your car. You can't drive down the street without your car beeping at you to click it or tick it. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, can't they come up with something better to inform us about? Like, just the whole public service announcement of it. The, the well, commercials and you know, and, th- and that's a lot. That has a lot of people, um, you know, uh, upset because I guess I, I haven't noticed. I've seen them a couple of times on the, on the Reds broadcasts on television. But, I mean, it is constant, I guess, from what people are telling me. In fact, uh, Sloaney was telling, Scott Sloan was telling me that the other day. He said well, it's have, constant. Yeah, have a, have a public service announcement to uh, inflate our tires to save on gas. You know, something useful, you can't, you can't get in your car without a beeping. Like, I've, I've got my seatbelt on, 
um, it's a good idea. But uh, if I didn't, it would start beeping right now. Well, you know, Craig, you sound like an intelligent guy. Well, do you find do you find it insulting when you hear phrases like "click it" or "ticket" or "drive yeah. sober" I mean, or "get pulled fine. over"? It's playing to the lowest common denominator, and, yeah. and those, those uh, uh, sober commercials where they're pulling over the middle-aged uh, uh, white guy over and over, it's like they only pull over white guys, and that, I, you know, that just kind of cracks me up. It's like the, <laughs> if you watch those commercials, there's no women and no uh, um, um, minorities. Well, yeah, look, at Craig, at least the white guys aren't wearing wife-beater T-shirts. It's 10 in front of 12 on the big one, 700 WL. 700 WLW, Sloaney off today. He'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be filling in for uh, Scott Sloan on Monday as well. Back tomorrow at 9.06 for my regular show on, uh, on Saturday. Willie coming up at 12.06. In fact, no guest today with Willie. No Sheriff Jones? Are you kidding me? No Wayne Allen Root? Willie says it's just him and the American people today. 12.06 on 700 WLW. Eric writes to dparks at 700wlw.com. He uh, sends me a uh, an alert for the popo. He said, I want your, your listeners to know not only are they on the ground, they have aircraft over I-75 near Westchester. Unbelievable. The popo, the police state in the state of Ohio, over 900 Police departments taking part in the click it or ticket campaign. You are, you know, remember the Clint Eastwood movie, The Gauntlet? That's what this is about. You know, it's almost like they're daring you to come into the, into the Buckeye State. You know, as you're traveling from Indiana, as you're traveling from the north of Michigan, as you're traveling through Pennsylvania heading toward the Buckeye State on I-90, West Virginia, from the, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, anywhere the, uh, another state touches, Ohio, they're daring you. Come in at your peril. Be aware. The Popo is out to get you. All right, Rick is in Merrimont, 700 WLW. Hey, Rick. Hey, uh, Daryl. I uh, just went and got some, uh, renewed my license plate for a large truck that I own, and I know where my state taxes or state fees are going. They're $885 for a grand total of $923.50. Good that's God. That's one year. That's what? one year, and that's not including highway taxes that I have to pay to run this thing. So, How many axles? Uh, it's a tri-axle truck, actually. Got it. All right. Holy but, uh, smokes. I know where all my money's going, so now I feel really safe that all these guys are going to be out this weekend. So I hope I can, you know, Rick, uh, make Rick, up for it. Did you go to, the, uh, to, to, uh, to motor vehicles today? Yes, I did. Well, there is good news to this, Rick. It appears that the motor vehicles department in the office has essential employees. About that, 3 before 12, Willie on the way at 12.06, on the home of the first place Cincinnati Reds, 700 WLW.